Jano Neka and your crew for enthralling all of us with your wonderful melody. The 21st General Conference of the Dimapurnaga Students' Union is truly blessed and honored to have Dr. Nomal Momen, MBBS MD, the Honorable Deputy Speaker of the Assam Legislative Assembly, as our guest of honor in today's conference. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I invite on stage our guest of honor from whom we are going to hear a speech. The Dimapurnaga Students' Union would like to appreciate your presence here today and acknowledge you with our token of love Respected President DNSU Ino Moyangal Jadil, Honorable MLS of Nagaland Legislative Assemblies, Respected Senior Associate Pastor and my close friend since last seven and a half years, Dr. Yanbeimu Lothazi. Respected President Naga Students Federation, Ino Medobi Ri Ji. Respected President Naga Council Dimapo, Ino Chung Momo Kikonji, respected members of Naga Women Hoho, respected church leaders, respected media friends present here, respected all the dignitaries, invited dignitaries here. And my most beloved student friends who gather here to celebrate the 21st General Conference. 
I, on behalf of the people of Caribbean Long and the people of Assam, and the from the Assam Legislative Assembly, convey my greetings to all the students community present here for the 21st General Conference. The theme today is transforming unhealthy culture. I am going to speak a few words. I don't know whether it will fulfill your expectation or not. If I commit some mistake, please forgive me. And this unhealthy culture, what is the unhealthy culture? There's lots. See, in Assam, one classical example I want to give with due apology that a chronic ulcer which is not healed and difficult to treat it, we term this as a naga gha, naga ulcer. And the most sore food, fruits, which is difficult to eat, then we term this naga tenga, that means naga fruits. Then very ugly knife that we term this as a naga da, so naga knife. So all ugly these things is termed as a naga, because that shows the hatred for this community. This is unhealthy culture. We must give up such type of culture to humiliate one community. With the development of the science and technology, we have created many things in this world. The creation beginning from the modern vehicles, fighter plane, drone, and a tombo. One way is a good that atomic energy we are getting for the use of our people. But at the same time, the havoc which it creates, we have an example in Nagasaki and Hiroshima in Second World War. So with the advancement of the science and technology, we are modernized. And many a time, we forget the value of our culture. One dangerous thing is that to make ourselves modernize, to show off, we used to take the things which we should not have taken. The drugs is one of the examples. For amongst the youth, it is a disease. Non-communicable disease is a drug addiction. It is because the unhealthy practice in our society. We lost our value of our culture. That's why we are running after substance in the world and destroying ourselves, destroying our parents, destroying our society, destroying our culture. So we must live such type of unhealthy culture. We believe and we have faith from our student communities. You have tremendous strength to stop this kind of drug addiction from our society. Traditionally, which practice we have done, sometimes it is very good, but with the pace of the development, we are unable to keep it up. One classical example that traditionally we grind the rice, which is very good, and it remains the thin layer of the rice that contain vitamin B12. That vitamin B12 is very essential. Nowadays, hardly we use the traditional grinding rice. Rice mill is there, we go jump and mill it, then we'll, our rice is prepared. So that's why we are having 
lots of neuropathic problem, nerve problem. And we are running to the pharmacy to purchase the costless medicine to cure ourselves. The tradition is very good. If possible, keep it. Otherwise, that problem will continue. Cultural assimilation and cultural convergence is very much essential to understand the culture of other people. Through this cultural assimilation and convergence, we can understand other people. Promoting agriculture is very good, but not at the cost of your own culture. You have to respect and you have to promote your culture along with assimilation with the other culture. So that's why we had a cultural convergence in Bukajan. And several cultural team we have invited from Dimapo. And at that cultural convergence, the Honorable Central Minister of State for Communication, Debu Singh Chauhan was present. He was so excited with the Naga traditional dress. Naga traditional dress with the spear. And he took the spear and danced with the Naga people. And at the same time, we brought one Dandia team also from Gujarat. So our Naga people also, they have witnessed that Dandia and we also dance Dandia and we learn a lot. So this way, cultural convergence we can have. Because the Bukajan, I belong to the constituency Bukajan, that is neighbor to Dimapur, and we are the neighbor of Nagaland. So being a, we have responsibility for our people as well as the people of the neighboring state. Often I used to come to Dimapur. I have many friends in Dimapur and together we work to bring communal harmony and peace in my region. And I must thank, help me to keep my area peaceful and a healthy to create a healthy environment amongst ourselves. I used to communicate, but for the communication of the people of neighboring state, I have done a lot in the border area development. Recently, two weeks back, I have sanctioned a 10 kilometer road from Sunday Market Bazaar to Lahorijan, T State to Karagao. Uh, through SRF camp, then to Dimapur border. It will communicate interstate border roads communication. So after completion of this rate, maybe within six months we are completing, so you will get a very good communication in the border areas. In the border areas, Lengri T state, I have given one junior college. So this year onwards, the academic session has started. The people, on the border areas, they can avail this school because it was a long pending demand. And that area also, Sutalengri, I have given one 10 bedded hospital. 95% work has been done. Within six months, we will start this hospital, 10 bedded hospital. So the neighboring state, Dimapur, also in the border area of my constituency, they can have a better health facility out there. And another junior college I have proposed in Sunday market near La Horizon. Maybe this year or next year, we are going to have that beautiful educational institute in the border areas. So it is our responsibility, it is our duties to keep peace, friendly attitude, and increase the bone of our neighborhood. So when I become member of legislative assembly, in 2016, immediately I had a get together in the border areas. And I appeal the Naga brothers and sisters out there. I told them 
you are in Karbi Anglong. You are not Nagalen Naga. Today onwards, I name you as a Karbi Naga. And whatever facilities you require, you don't go to Nagaland Chief Minister. I will provide to you. Then I have provided electricity, connectivity, health, education, drinking water. So 99% electrification was done in the border areas. They are very happy nowadays. They, wherever they meet me, they bring so many things for me and with love. That way we are working. I think in future, the Dimapur Naga Student Union, I'll get more opportunity to understand you, to work with you. Whatever problem is there, you come to me. Within my limit, I am going to help you 100%. And I need your cooperation because as a neighbor state, we need peace and friendship and better bonding amongst our brothers and sisters. So at the end, once again, I convey my greetings to all the Dimapur Naga Students Union members, and especially I appreciate Nagaland Chief Minister Honorable Nefir Yoji for your presence here. And I am delighted to have a chat with you and I have chaired this uh, wonderful occasion. I will remember you for this special occasion. And at the end, once again,